Hello, welcome or welcome back. It's a new weekly vlog. So exciting. Um, it's actually Wednesday. Um, I've not been feeling very well. I've just got back from the doctors. Everything's going to be fine. It's all good. I just need to look after myself a bit better probably. Um, and yeah, uh, I've just been feeling a bit under the weather and the doctor said everything will be okay if I just look after myself and if I take medicine and all the good stuff. So that's good. Um, it does mean that I haven't vlogged for a couple of days. Um, and I don't really feel that energetic right now for vlogging. So I'm going to go. But yeah, I will update you soon. See you in a bit. Hello. Good morning. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, it's Friday. <laughs> I have been terrible at vlogging this week. Um, and that singing was terrible too, so we're two for two. Anyway, um, I'll update you on what's been going on. Um, I've not been very well, hence the lack of vlogging. Um, I'm feeling a bit better today. I'm in the car because mum's just gone in for a medical appointment um, and I've never been here before so I'm a bit on edge. Um, I'm also parked quite like near the front so I feel like as soon as someone comes out I'm going to be like with my camera and hide. Um, but that's okay. So what else has happened this week? Yesterday was really cute. It was my mum's friend's daughter's first birthday yesterday and we took her to a farm where you can pet the animals like a petting zoo type thing um so we went and we saw goats and ponies and lambs and calves and cows and pigs and piglets and it was very oh ducks and it was yeah it was just very wholesome seeing the little one um, playing with the animals. It was very cute indeed. Um, I did have no footage because if you've ever been outside the house with a one-year-old, you know, it's difficult to <laughs> do anything other than look after that one-year-old. Um, and I spent some time holding the child and it was so cute. Um, but yes, so I, I don't have any footage to show. Also, I didn't want to get the child, not my child, on camera just some random child in the vlogs um, but yes um, tomorrow is their birthday party so tomorrow we're going to go out in the afternoon to their first ever birthday party which is again adorable um what else not much else has happened um oh i've quit the gym i know i lasted less than two weeks before i used my right of withdrawal to quit the gym um the re there were several reasons but mainly it's just so expensive and when i did it in my budget i forgot to budget in par car parking and petrol so my petrol bill went up and i was paying like three pounds every time i went to park the car which doesn't sound like much but i was on quite a tight budget already and by the time i started um kind of adding it up it was just getting quite extortionate amount of money that I was paying just to go to the gym um because it wasn't it wasn't like a close gym it was near my dad so that was kind of one of the reasons why I thought it was a good one but yeah it's it all kind of fell apart and also I was struggling it like usually in the beginning it's like a bit more easy for me anyway to motivate yourself to go because it's like oh brand new and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna lose weight and you know you've got I feel like I anyway have a bit more motivation but from the get-go I was like dragging my feet about going and it was just it just wasn't working out very well so yeah I've made the decision to quit um and it was it was a hard decision because I, I really do want to lose the weight and I really did want to go but I just am in I'm not in a position financially that I can afford it at the moment. 
um, which is the bottom line really, isn't it? You've got to be able to afford <laughs> what you're doing. So instead, I think I'm going to try and do more walks outside, like long walks. Um, mum can come for some of them um, when she is feeling okay. Otherwise, I'll go on my own um hopefully I was about to say we're entering spring now so it should be like the weather should be getting better but as I'm saying this it's raining outside so I don't really know if the weather is getting better um, but it should be okay um I could also do stuff like YouTube videos or like dance exercises and things in the house I don't really like them but maybe if I kept going with some it might work out um there's a man who's gonna walk behind the car um yes so that's the update I think that's everything that's happened this week um as I said it's not been a very eventful week not that much has happened he's gone <laughs> not that much has happened um because of being unwell and it's just been one of those quieter weeks i um finished reading all of the harry potter books that was a really good achievement i feel really proud of myself it has taken me over a year to read all of them but in the last well since 2023 started i've read three books um there's a woman who's staring at me <laughs> I'm really proud of myself then actually I didn't put the camera away she was staring at me but she, I didn't I didn't yield I did not yield um yes I'm I'm rambling a lot um, what else am I gonna say yeah so we watched we finished re I finished reading the books and we finished watching the films um, there were lots of tears in the last few films, um, but yes, because we were watching them and now TV is taking them off in like two days or something. So we were like racing. I was racing through the book, trying to get it to the point where I could watch the film before they were taken off um, now. So yeah, um, I'm quite proud of myself that I managed to do that. And now I need to choose what book I'm going to read next. Um, I think I'm going to do um, like a TBR jar um, and I think I'm going to film it um, and see and put like all the titles of books in the jar of the ones that I've bought and have at home of the ones that I want to read and then pick one out and see which one I'm reading next. Um, I think that would be a really cute idea to do. Um, I don't know why I was waiting for mum to come back. Her appointment isn't even for another five minutes. So I don't know why I keep looking as if she's going to come striding out of the, of the building. But I'm going to go because I've been talking for a very long time. And I'm going to try and find something to entertain myself because I forgot to do the TBR jar. So I don't have a book yet. Um, and I'm just sat here bookless bored and broken <laughs> i'm joking i'm gonna be fine it's gonna be fine i'll see you in a bit it's me hello um i am home now um mum had a good appointment oh i don't know what i'm trying to do here um mum had a good appointment and then we went to the shops because I needed to pick up supplies, supplies for a video that's coming soon. And I will show you the supplies and I will see if you can guess what the video is. Now the piece de resistance is my canvas with mini easel. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? And it was three pounds. My canvas and an easel. I'm obsessed. I'm simply obsessed. Um, oh, thanks for opening that door, Lil. Um, and then I bought some acrylic paints. Pack of 20 for £7. This is from the works, by the way. Um, and I got 
16 artist brushes. I probably didn't need 16, but that's what I have. And mum saw this, and I think I might use this in a video coming up as well, which is Harry Potter Wizarding Exam Papers, Can You Pass the Test? Um, unofficial, obviously, and that was four pounds. Um, yeah. See if you can work on what film video I'm gonna film. I bet you can't. Um, and then, um, they had no bags left, so I had to buy a proper one. And I got mum a Peppa Pig bag, because she's kind of low-key obsessed with Peppa Pig. Um, the, bless you, Lily. The man thought I was joking, but it, it really is for mum. Um, so here you go, mum. Thank you. That didn't work. Bless you, Lily. And then, because we were in the shops already, I nipped into Primark with the express aim of buying this dress. This dress, which is. Oh, I see. They've folded up the two items of clothing together. Um, so, I bought this blue, navy blue dress, which is the exact same as the cream, like, nude dress I bought, but in navy blue, because I love that one so much, I bought the navy blue version. And I bought this in an extra large, so it might be too small, we'll see. Um, and then I also got this um kind of camel t-shirt from the same range the primark edit range um in a 2xl because the color was just gorgeous um and that can go with my leggings or my jeans um and yeah that's all i bought mum bought some shoes um so i'll give those to her in a second but yeah that's our little haul i feel like every video for like the last like three weeks i've done a primark haul but there's just some really good stuff in there at the moment and I'm not picking up everything every time I go in. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yes, I'm going to find places for these all to live for now. And then I'm going to film a video, edit it, upload it. And then if I've got time later, I'll play Hogwarts Legacy because I played it last night again. And it's just magical. Last night I had my first homology lesson. And I won't spoil it for anyone playing the game. But it was immense. Um, so yeah. Let's get cracking with the video. Hello. Excuse the blanket. It is another cold snap here in the UK. Um... My face is just falling apart, but that's okay. Um, I've just been doing some really boring stuff like um, moving files from my laptop onto my external hard drive and other thrilling things like that. Um, and that's been my Saturday so far. Uh, we're not going to a birthday party that I told you about before because mum's not very good today um, so we, we can't go which is sad um, and it, but it does mean I've kind of had more time to do bits and bobs so I'm a bit more up to date with everything um, oh I'm wearing my new dress it's a, like slightly too small for me but it's because it's oversized it kind of you can't really tell um it's just around the stomach it kind of clings a little bit more than I would like it to but it looks all right so I'm wearing it and yeah I tried calling um a company today because I got a letter in the post telling me that my direct debit had been cancelled with them and I'm like yes because I paid you all of my money for that loan. But they sent me a thing, a, a rude, a rude letter. It's a miserable day outside. It looks really bright there. But if I turn the camera and do that, oh, it still looks bright, but it's, I mean, the fact that I've gone this dark, you can see it's not the best of weathers. I think I'm going to play some Hogwarts Legacy 
I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm, now I've put it on easy. Let me tell you, if you're stressed out about this game in any way, put it on easy. So much better. Um, I'm like winning all the jewels and yeah, <laughs> it's great. Anyway, I think I'm going to play for a bit. What did I do yesterday in the game? Oh, the other day I had my first homology lesson. I'm still reeling from that, that excitement. Um, oh, are you coming to see me? Are you coming to see me? Or are you not coming to see me? No. Okay. Um, and yes, I filmed a bit to show my mum because she was excited about it. Um, about what I was doing in homology. <laughs> that makes it sound so weird. <laughs> anyway, I am. Um, am I even in focus now? I've got no idea. I'm sorry if that was all out of focus. Um, oh, look how bad my skin is at the moment. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Anyway, I don't care that much, otherwise, I put makeup on. Um, Hello, you're behind me now. You down there. You're under the desk. She's crazy. She's a crazy lady. I'm gonna play some Hogwarts Legacy. Bye. It's me. Um, ignore everything I just said about how if you play it on easy, it's nice and it's fun. Because it's not. It's not easy, it's not nice, and it's not fun. And I'm stuck in a cave, and I don't know how to get out the cave, and I'm getting really stressed and I can't find what I'm looking for in the cave and now the thing that I was using to navigate the cave is broken and I'm stuck in a cave. How many times can I say cave? Um, yes. I'm, I'm stressed again, mm -hmm. so don't bark. This one has been driving me nuts for the last hour, so I'm gonna stop playing and give her some attention or something because I can't cope with another hour of the behaviour we've just had. Huh? No. Um, yeah, I'm very, that, that game is very strong. Can I just say, I've become Ron Weasley. I do not like spiders. Oh, oh, look who it is. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Not on the desk, you know you're not allowed on the desk. Not on the keyboard. Right, excuse me. Good morning. It is Sunday now. Um, I would normally finish the vlog here, but we're going into town and we need to get some bits to do my mum's nails. Um, so, yeah, I won't finish the vlog just yet, just in case there's anything interesting going on in town that I need to film. Um, but, yeah, I've had a terrible night's sleep had nightmares about really disturbing things i don't know why i didn't read before i went to bed last night because i had a headache i've still got it um and i don't really know what was going on but um yeah i'm a bit worried with my brain that it goes to such dark places but i'm sure it's fine um so yeah that's this is sunday morning um we tend to avoid the shopping center on a saturday and sunday but we're going <laughs> because we I really do need to do them for mum. So yes, I'm gonna do get going into town today and get the stuff that I need and then I can do that this afternoon and then edit this video and upload it. So it's gonna be a busy Sunday, but that's okay. That's okay. Also the shops don't open till eleven and it's currently <gasps> I don't have my watch on. Where's my watch? It's currently 8.21 and the shops don't open till 11 so got a little wait to go but that's okay. I'm gonna go find my watch. Hello, I have secured the goods. We're back from the shop now and I thought I would show you what I've bought to do your mum's nails with. So we've got like emery boards and stuff like that um, but let me just reach in and grab Right, I think this is everything for the nails. So, let me just check. Yeah, I bought, I bought myself an eyeliner. Um, 
other than that I didn't get anything um so I bought this nail hardener um it's a boots own one um instantly hardens shines and improves conditions of nails I don't know about that but we'll see um recovery oil eight and one to revive dry or damaged nails and cuticles um, we, I also got a toe separator thing because I thought that might help a little. Um, and then we've got this Essie all-in-one base and top coat. Um, oh, it is a base and top coat. I thought it was just a base, but it is all-in-one. So that's good. Um, and then we bought two polishes, one for mum, which is this pink one, which is called Mademoiselle. So it's that pink one from Essie. And then I bought this one, which is Win Me Over. Uh, which is that one from Essie. So yeah, that's everything we got for um, doing mum's nails. So what I'm going to do is edit this vlog, get it up, and then I will give mum a manicure. So thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll see you again next week for another one. Bye!